Forget about any most reliable, nicest sounding or generally best cylinders in the history. The world is full of amazingly small or incredibly large engines. You can see some of the little sixes here or you can keep watching to get to know the biggest six cylinders amongst all production cars. Ford Barra this is a straight 6 which can overshadow even the dominant Jay-Z, especially, especially in Australia. A sad thing is that only Aussies got to have them, but at least they can share their experience, how strong the Barra actually is. With an iron block and a much larger overall body of the engine, it is both physically and displacement wise a very big unit. <laughs> Aston Martin DB5. DB stands for David Brown, a deceased owner of Aston Martin, and the model became popular via James Bond movies. First appeared in Goldfinger with Sean Connery. The engine inside was an enlarged unit from the DB4, with a triple of twin barrel carburetors, later used in the DB6 and DBS. Wick LC4. Despite the right angle of the banks, this V6 had split crank pins and sounds properly right compared to early models before 1977. The LC4 had the largest displacement of the series and was said to be an alternative to V8s. It used a four barrel carburetor and was also raced at Indianapolis, unsuccessfully though. Atlas L8 The Atlas is made of a 2.8 litre 4 cylinder, a 3.5 and 3.7 litre 5 pots, and the aforementioned straight 6. It was the last one which led the program, and it shared basic features with its siblings an all aluminum structure, double overhead cams, coil and plug, and variable timing on exhaust side. GMC, Chevrolet, Oldsmobile, Buick, Isuzu, and Saab were all using this Vortec 4200. Roof SCR 4.2 The Roof SCR 4.2 is a car that resembles the Porsche 964 but is actually based on the 993 underpinnings with an extended wheelbase by 70mm. Up front in that 50mm short overhang is a water radiator of the Metzger engine while the rear wheels were pushed 20mm further back for a better weight distribution. There is a 6-speed transmission with a locking diff and the, ca and the car costs around 600,000 euros.
for the SX. This Canadian SX is completely different to the British 60 degree SX. Many think it was derived from the Windsor V8, but Forge actually copied Buick's 90 degree unit. There was a need to build a compact, powerful, but fuel efficient enough V6 succeeding the famous Forge 300, and this was the result. TVR Speed 6 Generally marking a series of TVR's inline 6s designed by Al Milling, it covered displacements from 3.6 up to a 4.2 liter. The 4 liter was the most common though, but all shared the same features. The block and head were of an aluminum alloy, there were twin cams, and each cylinder had its own throttle body. Jaguar XK6 Dubbed the XK6, this Jaguar power unit was launched in 1949 and was kept in production up until early 90s. Well, the first version was a 3.4 liter, and later even a 2400cc variant was introduced. It got as big as a 4.2 liter, featured mainly in the E-Type. Besides, there is a company called Eagle producing new classic E-Types with a very similar looking 4.7 liter inline 6. Toyota 1FZ FE The FZ series covers only a single displacement, but in many iterations. First, there was a carbureted version which was succeeded by a fuel injected one in 1993, bumping up the numbers by 25 horsepower and 10 Nm. Besides, they even made a different reworked engine for certain non-US markets with up to 240 horsepower. The 1FZ was a successor to the F-Series, where a 4230cc 6 banger was the largest of them. AMC 282 AMC Straight 6 was one of those longest living engines in automotive business, but the largest of them was not really an American engine as the company name suggests. The 282 was a 4.6 liter with retained 258 bore but increased stroke made by a Mexican subsidiary VAM. Ford 300 The 300 was amongst the younger engines of the series, but kept in production the longest. Basically, it was the 240 with a longer stroke, and thanks to its iron block and a fairly simple structure, it is incredibly reliable and indestructible.
Hudson Hornet. Admit, each of you who knows about the Hudson Hornet thanks to the car movie. I do, but I also know that it had the largest six-cylinder engine in the automotive business, definitely after World War II. It was said to be powered by a high-compression flathead engine, performance of which cannot be doubted. The Hudson Hornet proved to be unbeatable in races on dirt and paved roads.